fact, man, that's the good Dr. Nate Boney. That's got to be the coolest ass name ever. I know I keep saying that. Nate Boney, gynecologist. Ladies, how are you? <laughs> He'll be checking in throughout uh, Sports Unplugged with more uh, uh, scores and updates. I got my man in the building, the Chancellor of Haberdashery, <laughs> the Chicago icon. Keep going. He made 23 famous before Devin has to do <laughs> Jerry Azuma, what's up, brother? What's up, man? How you doing? Always a pleasure, man, Good. to have you, Good. you know, take time out your busy schedule and come hang with the common folk. Common folk? Yeah, common folk, man, you know. <laughs> we ride buses and stuff. <laughs> I've done that before. <laughs> yeah, before. <laughs> Keyword, before. I'm still doing it. <laughs> Oh my life, I had to fight. <laughs> what's up, bro? How you feeling, man? I'm good. I'm real good. What's going I'm on? Always with, good, especially when the Bears win. What's going on with the ASAP Foundation, man? Um, some good things. We have uh, a couple of upcoming events coming okay. up, and uh, you know, just stay tuned for that. But uh, we're rolling. I think we're like in our ninth year, and nice. we're, we're productive. Nice, nice, nice. Well, we're gonna get right to it. Bears had a big win, uh, real big win over the weekend. They scared the hell out of me at first, though. First half, and we were talking about this. Mm -hmm. What do you attribute the slow start of the Bears' offense to? Because it seems like the first half, I say, you know, I, I say, was it a combination of them starting slow and Jacksonville was just pumped up and came to play, or was it just the First Bears of all, just don't, Jack they Jacksonville, don't? Jacksonville really isn't that good of a football team. No, right? let's just be honest. They're terrible, you know. And uh, for some reason, I feel like sometimes the Bears play down to lesser competition for some odd reason. But I don't understand the slow start. Uh, I mean. You don't want to give a team confidence, especially a team like Jacksonville. This is the NFL. Anything can happen. But you want to start fast. For some reason, they couldn't get into a, a rhythm. And that was my main concern, too, uh -huh. because I said one of the keys to the, to the football game for me was the offense has to establish a rhythm. Right out you know, the gate. Right out the gate. Like, you know. Get the ball to Forte, get him involved early and often because, I mean, we already know what Forte can do. Right. And then, you know, pass the ball around. Don't go too crazy with the vertical throws. Right. But just get into that rhythm, three-step drop, you know, intermediate routes, things like that. But for some odd reason, they just couldn't really get it going in the and first And like half. a man said, he doesn't even care if you have drives and you stop. As long as I can see, you can move the right. ball. Pro and, progress. Yeah, that's it. Now, the defense doesn't have a problem with that. I'm they get out and get them. after. I'm not worried about them at all. We don't even have to talk about the defense. Okay. I mean, because they're clearly in a shootout with the offense. Right. And they're tied scoring. right now. And they're five tied. to five. I mean, the defense is all over the place. They create pressure. You know, um, they get after the quarterback. With the front four. With the front that, four. That's, and that's, that's the, the most the important yeah. thing yeah. is that if your front four can can create pressure, you know, and get up front and be disruptive, then everybody in the back is going to eat. Tim, Tim Jennings and well. Peanut look real good you on the You just have to be in position to make plays, and they are in position to make plays. So is it safe to say the weakest link on the Bears team right now is the special teams? When before, that was one of your strong suits. True, but you know what? Um, it's still the offense to me. I, I would say it's the offense in the offensive line. I still think that they have a lot of work moving forward. Pat on the back to the line, though. They played pretty well these last couple of games, the offensive line. To, to be the, the most scrutinized aspect of the Bears game, mm -hmm. they've actually put together – Two I mean, there was semi-decent games back to back. But let's let's really break this down. I mean, the offensive line. How many false start penalties did they have? How many how many times did they just stop themselves from continuing drives on third downs? True, true. You know, but um, Jay wasn't picking grass out his helmet though. <laughs> I, I mean, like to be honest, and I know this may be bad on my part. I kind of overlooked the false starts. Like, number six ain't been pulling turf out his helmet <laughs> the past couple of games. You so can't overlook me, those things. I know, but... They're to, in the red zone, especially. Yeah. And they're moving backwards. You can't have that. You need points. To me, this Like just, I call it, money that folds. That's true instead of money that jingles. That's right. Which is only three. <laughs> but it's just that uh, when Jay's not getting up, you know, pulling patches of turf out his head or, or shoulder bumping... A tackle. I'm not, I thought okay. it was going to get. All right, we good. I thought it was going to get Gabe yesterday for uh, all those false starts. I think Jay know who to pull that with. <laughs> I right. think you're right. I think he's like Jamarcus ain't going to fake. But you know what? <laughs> Gabe uh, might power slam my ass. Leon, uh, going on uh, something else. The Packers losing uh, yesterday is kind of huge. Is it? Because I, I mean, you it's said, always good when the Packers lose. But you, but a man said he didn't think the Packers. We're all on board this year anyway. They weren't going to mm -hmm. be all that anyway this year. So uh, 
Shouldn't be more worried about Minnesota. Minnesota. Because like, their confidence level is here now. They're playing well. They're Ponder's playing And Ponder's playing lights out. Yep. He's got a machine behind him. And, and shout out to Adrian Peterson for just coming back yeah. and looking like, you know, and listen, and I know it's early. It's not the season yet. But if Derrick Rose can come back like Peterson did, the, oh, the yeah. league is in trouble. <laughs> the league is in trouble. Percy Harvin has been a beast also. And Minus the migraines. Been well. I wonder what type of marijuana is he smoking this <laughs> shit. Because marijuana helps with migraines. It's proven. Is that right? Medical it's fact. Proven? It's proven. Well, it's I working. haven't had a migraine in four years. <laughs> <laughs> I have no migraine. Yeah, yeah, done. done. You dig? Uh, no, um, the NFC North just got interested. And, and for us, and after as Detroit has been, you still can't. Uh, the, after this bye week, that's still a scary game. True. For the Chicago Bears. True. Because, you know, you once, just never you, know. once you let up, Megatron has 215 yards and mm -hmm. two touchdowns. Right. And you don't want that. They have so, a quarterback that can deliver the ball also. Yeah. When he's when he's not shook, yeah, because I, I think he gets the shook syndrome too. Yeah, he does from time to time. But he always seems to find Megatron. But what team are you most worried about in the NFC North? Even though the Bears right now are mm -hmm. at four and one, yeah. What team are you most worried about? Honestly, I'm not worried about Minnesota. I mm -hmm. think Ponder's going to have his stretch mm -hmm. where he just starts tanking a couple. Right. Yeah. And at the end of the day. That Minnesota defensive line is going to apply a lot of pressure, Jared Allen and the guys, True. but I don't True. think they can hold the fort like a Bears defense can because right. our defense scores. Green Bay scares me the most. I mean, I went to Lambeau when, you know, they played the Bears, and the Bears just were just out of sync. They laid an egg. Right. They laid an egg. I mean, it was just a dismal performance. I wasn't expecting that at all. I was expecting them to come into Green Bay's house. You know, and um, establish a run, establish a passing game, do all the necessary things right. You know, no turnovers by Jay Cutler, even though we have four turnovers that game. Yeah. You know, they still scare me because they're the team that looks solid against the Bears. Like, the Bears weren't even there, basically. You think Jay's going to have a little chip on their shoulder the next time they play for oh, the yeah. comments that Woodson said? He's like, oh, yeah. that's old Jay. Yeah. He'll throw it to us every time. Yeah, but, I mean. He can't let that consume he, him, though. He can't, but at the same time, he's kind of right. He's kind of right. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, Woodson is a savvy veteran, uh -huh. and he's going to put himself in positions to make plays and to win. Okay. And he did that. Yeah. He was like, Jay is going to, you know, he's going to throw gonna put it ball. where we he's think gonna he's going to gunsling a little bit. Kind of like, you know, Brett Favre. Brett Favre is the same way. Like, when we played Brett Favre, we were like, all right, he's going to throw us the ball. No, we we're going to get one. We're going to get one. We just have to be in position to make that play. Let me ask you a question. Who on the defensive uh, side of the ball – are you most impressed this year? Because impressed with this year, there have been a number of standouts. Jennings mm -hmm. has been playing great ball. Lights Peanut out. is still doing what Peanut. he does best. Briggs is having a great year. Major Rice doing well. Major Rice doing well. Yeah. Uh, my favorite Melton. Melton has Henry been doing Melton. his thing, man. And and yes. I heard him get actually get compared physically to uh, Julius Peppers, yeah. like they said, far as size and mm -hmm. everything. And I, I'm just glad to see he's doing very well and that the Bears have that depth mm -hmm. at the defensive line in their uh, on, on their roster. You said the key word is depth. They have it. They can reload whenever they want to and create pressure with just the front four. So they don't have to, like, run schemes and run stunts, you know, and run all sorts of blitzes. They can just get after the quarterback with their front four. So, therefore, yeah. they can lock down anybody in the back. And that's what they've been doing. They've been making a lot of plays in the secondary because the front four is just so disruptive. Like that, moving moving Julius Peppers around. Moving him around. Him this, Izzy comes Creating in. Creating mismatches. Melton is blowing up stuff in the middle. Paella. And then, of course, McClellan. Yes. The, the new kid. He can show Who you what type motor. of. It, to me, he's a poor man's Jared Allen. Mm -hmm. He like, has a motor. I, I, like, I like how he gets after the quarterback. But like you said, the secondary, like Tim Jennings, mm -hmm. like. Is, For some odd reason, I don't, I don't understand why in the past they just haven't really been high on Tim Jennings. They just really haven't been high on him. And he's always been solid. Always been solid. Yeah, as a secondary and as a cornerback or a safety, you're going to give up a play. Oh, yeah. Like, it's going to happen. You're going against the best of the best every single week. You're going to give up a play. But it's all about how you can recover from that and it's, not and, and eliminating those big plays from continuing to happen. It's probably, the same, reason, it's probably the same reason why people uh, always were down. I know I was on uh, Peanut. I yeah, knew, the last preseason game was prime example of that. Because I know, I, I, I knew that Peanut was gonna get torched or burnt uh, at one certain time. But the thing about Peanut is, the minute you want to give up, give up on him, pick. But see, I, exactly. I, never, I never something. I never looked bad at Peanut because upon drafting him, I was like, 
He's a corner guy that fits into a certain scheme. Mm-hmm. Now, what I did find surprising and refreshing about him is how he forces turnovers and yes. gets at the ball. Right. And like and, and like on every play, you see him punching and pushing at the you ball. Can't teach that. Almost to the point like if I was a ref, I want to throw a flag. Like that can't be illegal. He's I mean, literally punching. He's a great stripper. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah, you know exactly, and usually he's, he's you know behind the player, yeah, trying to you know. But it doesn't. But, but I mean, how many times have we seen him come from behind? About thirty. Punch times. the ball out, or or pull somebody's arm and let somebody else right. clean up tackle, and he rips the ball. He has right. a knack for that. He has the knack, for and it. That, and that's what I like about him. So I never really was down on him. Let's not forget also that he went to the Pro Bowl. Yes, he so did. that yeah, lets he you know what the league thinks about him. Yes, he did. But I do. I, I, I think he's one of the most. I think he's one of the more respected cornerbacks in the league. I I, I already know that. You know, <laughs> what? No, I was just showing uh, Jerry the reason why I've never had migraine headache. <laughs> now I see. Yes. Why? <laughs> Medicinal purposes, the, man. This show is obviously educational. <laughs> yes, right. it is. Exactly. <laughs> on, on many levels. <laughs> on many different levels. All right, man, let's go to some of the other games we saw. Uh, we're going we're 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 to come, come back? back? Yeah, we're going to come back. All right, when that. we come back from break, we're going to talk NFL with my man, Jerry Azuma, who hopefully we get him here every week. That, well, that's, what, that's the goal. That's the goal. That's the goal. If the we'll people want it, if we'll the, make it happen. The people got to want it, man. We don't give a damn what the people say. We do what we do over here. Okay. Yeah, but we know we got... Uh, Monkeys! We got we got, Man, we got Manning versus Brady, the 13th. That's the 13th that, time to play. That was love. The old, the old man versus the, the young Jedi. You know, yeah, we got... We well, got, they we, both old men now. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, let's not get it twisted. Yes, sir. So, uh, I, I don't like... I'm going to ask you a question real quick before you go into that song. Yeah. Do you think guys try to play jokes on Manning, like call him when he get down the hallway to make him do a complete 360 turn? <laughs> I'm just saying, man. It's, it's something you would do. That's the stuff I don't like. Fraud. Y'all, that's that shit I don't like. Yo, this make believe. Rapping about my own life. 